Welcome guys to a new video. I'm going to talk today about a subject that has come up a lot and that is multi-packs. This comes up all the time in social media in these various um, private seller groups that I'm a member of and the issue is is that customers of Analyzer Tools, formerly known as AMZ Analyzer, uh, and non-customers, users of other programs are always frustrated that their uh, analyzing software does not account for multi-packs correctly 100% of the time. And so I thought I'd make a video and talk about this because this is a very unique problem. It's unique in that there really is not a 100% solution out there. That's the problem. I'll explain why that's a problem. And I'll also go through a live example uh, to highlight some very unique tools that Analyzer Tools has that helps you overcome this issue, I think, more effectively than any other software out there. So first and foremost, let's talk about the problem. Why can't any software get this right? Well, the way Analyzer Tools and other software that's like it works is we pull all of this great data, all of this data, with the exception of stuff that's calculated like taxes, profits, etc. All of this data comes directly from Amazon's API. Now, what is an API? API is just a way for us to plug into Amazon's database and pull their data out. So when we talk about multi-packs, we're talking about listings where a seller is selling multiple packs there where the package quantity, which is represented in this column, you see all this package quantity with these crazy amounts, one says 10,000, I'm sure that's wrong. Uh, this package quantity represents products that are multi-packs. So if we have a one, this means that it's not a multi-pack. If it's a multiple, it's probably a multi-pack right so if this data that's coming from amazon's api is correct then there's no problem so long as your program can account for uh calculating multi-packs the problem is that amazon has really bad data for this package quantity field so when it's when a seller creates a listing let's say i create a multi-pack listing there's a lot of data that I put into my, my listing. If I as a seller put the wrong number in this package quantity field in my sales listing, then you will see the wrong number in the results because it's all plugged into the same database. So we do not control the data. Most of Amazon's data is very, very good, but this is one exception. So this is the reason why sometimes even when you have Multi, calculate multi-packs enabled, you will notice issues where there's a multi-pack, but it says one in the package quantity, or it has the wrong amount. So now let's move on and talk about how to solve this issue and how to get through it. There isn't a one-click solution to this, unfortunately, guys. But what most people are doing that are faced with this issue is they're really going in and doing a lot of manual calculation in spreadsheets that gets just really, really tedious. I'm gonna show you guys how to leverage the tools of Analyzer Tools program. Uh, these tools are very unique to this program to do this much, much more efficiently. So let's just get right into it. So first and foremost, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna show you guys some examples of multi-packs here. And one way to do that is to use the search, uh, the search function. So if you right click up here, you can go to show find panel. So once you have the find panel, you could live search anything. Most multi-packs have, um, have something like, you know, case, nope, or pack. There we go. So pack of, let's look at that. So first, first we wanna figure out what this keyword is. 
and then we can isolate all of the products, all of the listings that have that particular keyword. All the multi-packs will have a keyword of some sort. So you see we put pack of, but it's really separating pack and of. So here's a little trick, guys. If you put a little if you put little quotes around what you're searching, it makes sure that you have to have pack of uh, in, uh, together for it to show up. So now we've got some examples here. These are all probably multi-packs, unless your supplier is providing multiple packages or multiple units as part of one package. That's, that, that, that can get a little bit confusing and is very rare. But let's just assume for the purpose of this conversation, these are all multi-packs, which they likely are. So here's one thing we can do. So first, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify my view a little bit to help me. This is one really nice benefit of working within the program instead of exporting this to Excel to do your analysis is you can get very, uh, flat, you could do some, some things that are hard to do in Excel. So first I'm gonna grab this package quantity column and I wanna move it closer so I could see it better. So here's another trick. If you take a column and you move it over here to this very last line and you drop it, it'll actually go to the very beginning up here. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to relocate it right next to the title column. Some of these other things I really don't need for the purpose of this analysis. So I'm going to take them out. I'm going to take all this stuff out and I'm just going to focus on, you know, this stuff that matters right here. In fact, I'm going to actually save this view so I could use it later. And I encourage you guys to do the same. Multi-pack analysis, right? So now we have a grid view saved. If you guys aren't familiar with grid views, this is really, really cool. You know, you could switch between, this is the view we previously had. I could quickly go back and go back to multi-pack analysis and it goes right back to the view of where I left off. So cool, right? You could apply this to any spreadsheet moving forward. So now that I have my view, I'd like to take a look at what uh, what the data is, right? So I see here, and I've got the sorted by package quantity. So I could right away tell you that everything with a one here, you see all these with a one, these are probably bad data because these are all packs of something. These are multiples, right? So if this says one, this implies that it's not a pack. So, you know, I'm going to look at this and see that this is a pack of nine, right? I could, I could pull it up and look at it and confirm and you know, pack of nine. Let's just assume that that's a multi-pack, right? Let's look at another one. Um, pack of three. Let's take this one. You know, this is a good example because this is clearly a multi-pack. There's three individual, three distinct products here packaged uh, together for uh, to make a unique listing. So in order to so, so in order to account for that, you'll see sometimes, you know, a telltale sign of a uh, multi-pack that has bad information is you'll see these crazy ROIs. You get 761% return. Well, that's not quite true. And, and that's because the program thinks you're only buying one of these. See, the purchase price is $3, right? So for you to sell a pack of nine, you have to take $3.01 and you have to buy nine products from your supplier. That means your purchase price is actually $27.09, not $3.01. So that's why the ROIs look out of sync is because the program thinks you bought it at $3.01 and you're selling uh, for $36. That would be a hell of a return, but it's not reality. So how do you do, how do you change that and fix that? Well, in the program, it's so simple. All you do is you click into this package quantity field and you update it. I'm going to change that to nine. You see what happened? It immediately recalculated everything. That's where the power of the program really comes in. And, and this is very hard to do without clunky formulas in Excel. So just like that, I fixed it. And now I have a real ROI. It's not 700%, it's actually a, a loser. It's negative 4.29, right? So let's keep going. So this one, and you see it took it out of the list because I have an active filter here for pack of. So let, let's just keep going. So now I'm gonna update this guy to three. 
and this guy to three. And you could see my ROI is changing every time I do this. And this guy to nine. This isn't the most ideal thing to do is, I mean, I, you're, what you're trying to do is automate as much as you can. But the problem is, is that's really not possible here. So you have to do some manual review in order to play with multi-packs. Um, and the really nice thing about this is, is it's, it's hard, right? It's hard to do, but there's profit in it. There, there's profit in areas where other sellers are not going to take the effort. Every seller out there is faced with this data issue. Every program out there, whether they claim to have a solution or not, I promise you their solution is not 100% accurate. It's impossible. So they're all dealing with this. Most sellers are going to take the path of least resistance. They're not going to look at multi-packs because they don't want to do the work. So I'll tell you what, there's probably less competition in multi-packs. There's money to be made here. You can see this particular product is a pack of two. After updating the package quantity to two, there's still a 129% return here. Now, if only the sales rank and estimated number of sales was better. But I promise you guys, there are gems here and there's opportunity in multi-packing. Uh, and if you can get good with this and, you, and leverage the tools of the program, uh, then you are way ahead of the competition. So I'm doing this as I talk. And, you know, you guys can see that very quickly uh, I am nearing uh, the end of this particular, uh, this particular list. Now, this is interesting. This is not a, a this is not a, a multi-pack. This just has, this just says Penplax Playfuls Cat Toys 24 pack of rattling something mice. Now, I'm going to bet this isn't a multi-pack that this, product actually just has 24 pieces in it. I could be wrong, but let's find out. I think I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. It's hard to say. This is At this point, this is where you would really look to your supplier sheet and see how your supplier is classifying this. This may actually be a full 24 pack from the supplier. Actually, I doubt the supplier is selling one little mouse like that. It probably comes in a box of 24. So I'm going to research that and assume that I don't have to change that. But you know, this really underlines why it's impossible to have an automatic solution for this because the program can't know if it's a multi pack or not. The program is not a human brain. It can't do this analysis. A human has to do this analysis because there's too much variation. Um, and you can't program something that has this much variation. You're going to have mistakes. So we choose to keep the data pure and give you the tools to make a human analysis. That is our approach. So we have just updated all the multi-packs. The rest of these you can see are really not an issue. Um, I'm going to scan them to make sure that there's not one that's, you know, an obvious issue. Um, I don't really see anything. Uh, well, actually, here's one pack of four. They have two. You know, it's just it's just bad data that we're dealing with here. But again, where there is where it's difficult, there is opportunity. So I always tend to focus on the difficult areas instead of the easy ones. The easy ones have too much competition. Um, so anyways, so we've, we, we've extinguished pack of, and by the way, guys, I picked a really bad list. You will notice that some, that some lists are really clean and the data is hundred percent, right? You know what? It's because it's the same person that probably entered all of that lists, uh, listings on Amazon, the same guy or girl probably set, set it up. And that person was very diligent in filling out the correct metadata in their sales listings. That's why. You know, some lists you'll see there's no issue. Other lists you'll see, oh my God, this is all wrong. Or there's so much, so many issues. I picked a list that's the oh my God list, not the easy list, okay? Just for demonstration purposes. So we've extinguished the pack of, right? But maybe there's some other uh, keywords. 
so let's see here. Um, another good one is set of. There you go. So again, this is another reason why you can't program this is because people say this in different ways, but they're usually pack of or set of, but you could scan your list and see what nomenclature they used. So on this one, I could see there's really only, you know, a few issues. There's this one, which is a set of three, this one, which is a set of 15, and this one, which is a set of 15. There we go. The rest of this looks fine. So I hope this helps. It's not perfect, but you know, this video only took a few minutes. And in a few minutes, we corrected a bunch of pro problem uh, multi-packs. And with every stroke of your keyboard to correct one cell, it updates a bunch of updates all the profit, all the margin, all the ROI, the purchase price, it updates everything automatically. Instead of having to tinker with this with a calculator in a spreadsheet, which is what uh, the alternative is. So I hope this helps. I am sorry to give you the bad news that there isn't a point and click solution for this. There's just not. Until Amazon fixes their data and cleans it up, which I hope they do, th this will be the most efficient way that I know of to um, get multi-pack uh, data and make it make it accurate and analyze its profitability. I hope this helps explain the elusive multi-pack issue. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Um, I could be reached uh, through uh, various social media sites. You could visit us on Facebook. Um, you could visit us on Twitter. You could also check out our knowledge base, which is very helpful. It actually has information on dealing with multi-packs. We're actually going to post this video right here uh, in this article after it's finished so that you guys can come back and reference it anytime you like. You could browse around and look at other uh, other. Uh, content that we have. We have a, a ton of videos and articles. Um, but let us know what you think, and uh, hopefully this, uh, this helped. Happy analyzing. Take care.